Hey everyone, welcome to this beginner-friendly Figma tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create wireframes in Figma step by step. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how wireframes work, and you'll be able to build your own using Figma's simple yet powerful tools. Don't worry if you're new to wireframing or Figma, I'll walk you through it all and we'll recreate about half of a sample wireframe together, so you can see each part in action without getting overwhelmed. Alright, let's dive right in. To start, I've got a wireframe sample in front of us. Having a reference is a great way to not just save time but also stay focused. It's like baking with a recipe instead of guessing the ingredients. We know where we're headed but we can always tweak things as we go. Since you probably already have a sense of what wireframes are, they're basically the blueprint for your design, simple shapes and text showing layout, without the distraction of colors or images, we can jump into creating one ourselves. First up, let's create a asterisk frame asterisk. In Figma, the frame is your workspace, the container for everything else. Without it, things can get messy, so take a moment to go over to the toolbar, select the frame tool, and click or drag to create your main canvas. Think of the frame as the boundaries for your wireframe, just like a piece of paper that holds your sketch. Depending on what you're designing, a desktop app, a mobile screen, choose an appropriate size. If you're not sure, Figma provides presets for common devices, which is super handy. Once your frame is set, the next step is to add basic asterisk shapes asterisk. This is where you start building the structure of your wireframe. Look at the wireframe sample for inspiration. Notice how rectangles are used for headers, buttons, images, or even sidebars. In the toolbar, grab the rectangle or ellipse tool, then start drawing those elements onto your frame. For example, drag a rectangle at the top for a header area or several smaller ones for menu items. These shapes act as placeholders. They give you and anyone else reviewing your wireframe an idea of where content will eventually go. It's totally fine if it feels a bit abstract. Wireframes aren't about fine details, just broad strokes. Now let's add some text. You'll want labels on buttons, headings, or perhaps a spot where descriptive copy will live. Figma's text tool makes this easy. Click anywhere on your wireframe and start typing the labels you need. Keep things simple as sign and button, welcome, or username, just enough to make your wireframe speak for itself. This way, anyone looking at your wireframe understands what each section or shape is meant for. Don't stress if the font or size isn't perfect. At the wireframing stage, clarity beats fancy formatting. We're making great progress. Next, let's add some lines to section off areas or indicate navigation. In Figma, the line tool lets you draw straight dividers, maybe between the header and main content or to separate menu items. These lines don't have to be perfect. They're visual guides like the lines in a notebook keeping your writing organized. Take a moment to align them neatly, your future self will thank you later. Finally, let's asterisk add more text wherever necessary. Sometimes, after blocking out shapes and structure, you'll notice areas that need a quick note or annotation. Maybe you want to clarify what a particular box is for, just click with the text tool and add your note. These extra bits of text make your wireframe clearer, especially if you're sharing it with teammates or clients who might not be familiar with your layout ideas. And there you have it, about half of our sample wireframe recreated in Figma step by step. Remember, wireframes are all about communicating structure, so keep things simple and don't worry about precision just yet. As you practice, you'll get faster and more confident. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give the video a like and drop any questions you have in the comments, I'm always happy to help. And don't forget to subscribe for more beginner-friendly tutorials just like this. Thanks for watching and happy designing in Figma.